welcome you are all awesome after completing all the solution type simplification part of pair of linear equation the last topic of the chapter is left out and we want to grab the topic in very very easy manner what is the topic you may think it it is the word problems we need to solve word problems in order to solve word problems we shall have little prerequisite knowledge to understand completely the word problems so i put to you how these word problems to be solved the mathematical statements what are given in the words how to convert that in algebraic form so i brought to you a table let us discuss that first yes the secrets to master the word problems here the mathematical statements are given and uh, the equal algebraic form how to convert is the right side it is written here the first the sum of two numbers if it is there let one number be x and other is y then according to that algebraic form will be x plus y if you see difference of two numbers and let one number be x and other y according to the mathematical statement when we convert to algebraic difference stands for minus x minus y so product of two numbers will be x y area of rectangle whose length and breadth are not given so let us consider length be x and breadth be y then exactly it will become x y one number exceeds the other by 10 so x is equal x exceeds exceeds means plus exceeds by other number other number is y so x is y plus 10 x exceeds y with 10 similarly one number fi is phi less than other number so one number x is phi less than other number you can identify when the um, english language mathematical statement is read where is is coming that will become is equal to an algebraic form okay so one number is twice so one number is x is is equal to is is twice the other number 2y similarly one number is thrice and one number is uh, one is half of the other x is half one by two similarly one third can come four times can or ten times can come similarly just they are the examples you can learn many things here according to the statement here square of the number will be x square we don't know any number that is why we use variable okay the sum of the squares of two numbers he told two numbers let one number be x and another number is y so sum of squares so x square plus y square sum is plus squares of the numbers similarly difference of the squares of two numbers x square minus y square now very important topic here the problems will come here two digit number so if we consider here i have written here x y x let the unit digit be okay here the unit digit be x and tens digit be y this is the two digit number this is this is the unit digit this is the two digit number and he when we just want to expand this two digit number in the uh, algebraic form then it will be written like this 10 y plus x how because for example if i am having a 65 here a two digit number 65 this is the unit digit. in the childhood fifth class sixth class we have done expanded form of the number so we are expanding that six tens place multiply by ten plus y exactly here y is tens place ten times y plus x just it is an expanded form of the number this is used in the word problems according to the statement what is written here sum of the two digit number and a number obtained by reversing the order of the digit so he told a two digit number is there and we are reversing the order of the two digit number and taking these two number and adding this is the return here sum okay according to this it will be yx plus xy accordingly this is yx one digit number plus two digit number one number plus a another yx uh, changing the order xy and yx is expanded in this way xy will also expand it so when we are writing a yx plus xy yx in one number two digit number and another after reversing the digit it became xy so yx y times 10 plus y this is expanded form of the first number and this is expanded form of that number 10x plus y and actually in between plus is coming because it's the sum oh wow the e, if we are understanding this mathematical statement how we are converting to algebraic form i assure the word problems which are coming is that easy to solve 
Now for number 14, uh, 15, some of the ages of fathers, ages problem will be solved in this case. You please try to understand these mathematical statements and to convert in algebraic form. Okay. Some of the ages of the father and son, so just this statement comes, then sometimes instead of father and son, Nalini, Sharda, Abdul, Kalim, these type of numbers are coming. So we got two names, let the age of the son be X and the age of the father be where. According to the uh, question, we can change. The son be X and Y, age of the father be Y according to the statement X plus Y, sum of the ages of son and the father. Now this is very crucial, sum of the ages after 5 years. So after 5 years, the age of the son is going to be X plus 5 and the father's age is going to be Y plus 5 because after 5 years, everybody's age is going to increase by 5. So after 5 years, whatever the age will be, that is going to be the sum. So X plus 5 plus Y plus 5. After 5 years, son's age is this one. After 5 years, the father's age is this one. So sum is plus in between. Good. We are understanding now. Let's proceed. Sum of the ages before 5 years. So before 5 years or 5 years ago, uh, sometimes 5 years hence. Hence means after 5 years. Before and ago means before. Uh, back, the past. So 5 years before, the age of the sun will be or would have had been x minus 5. Okay, here comes before x minus 5. And the father's age is going to be y minus 5. I in the sum of the ages, that is why x minus 5, this is the age of the son plus the age of the father, 5 years ago. Now after 5 years, father will be 3 times the age of the son. This is a statement. After 5 years, so after 5 years, the son, uh, son will be 5, x plus 5 and father will be y plus 5. After 5 years, means these ages, according to the statement, father is going to be 3 times the age of the son. Yes, in this way. Now, if you see two numbers are complementary, the complementary word tells me that it is the sum. If you add x plus y is 90. So, two numbers are complementary, it means x plus y is 90. Similarly, two numbers are supplementary. Supplementary, the word itself tells that the sum of the things is equal to 180. So, x plus y is 180. Two numbers, he said just. So one number will be x and other number is y we are considering. Now let us go to 21st. One number is 5 less than twice the other. Okay. So one number is 5 less than. So let one number be x and other number be y. The other number of y, the one number is 5 less than minus 5 than twice, twice 2x. Okay, this is also very crucial you need to understand. If the speed of the water flowing stream and river, for example, the, this scenario is very important in four marks questions are made on these particular techniques. What is that? A boat is moving on the river, stream, water, in the canal, already water is moving. And water moving speed and the boat is also having its own speed. According to that, if the boat is moving along the side of the water, water is flowing in the same direction and boat is also moving in the same direction, it is called as downstream. If water is flowing in the downward direction in this way and boat is moving in the reverse direction in this way, then it is called as upstream. So if we are going downstream, what is going to happen? If we are moving upstream what is going to happen it is written here actually the two speeds are there water speed and boat speed so we consider boat speed be x and the speed of the water be y that according to the statements or according to the problems or scenario downstream if we are going water is moving in this direction and boat is also moving in the same direction it is called as downstream and the speed will be x plus y and if the water is moving in this direction and boat is moving in the reverse direction it is called as upstream and the upstream speed is x minus y okay so based upon that we make a statement it is coming here 20 that if the car travel distance this is also very important if the car travels a distance for 400 kilometer car here what car is there instead of car there can be a plane or there can be 
a bus, it can be a cycling, a motorcycle, or a man running, did everything 400 km with a certain speed. So, here, certain speed or some speed that tells me that speed is unknown. So, let the speed of the car be x. So, we bought the speed of the car be x according to the statement 400 km is covered in 5 hours. So, we got a uh, time, distance, and speed relation according to the time is distance by speed. So, this time 5 is equal to 5 hours is equal to 400 km divided by x. So, x is here the speed. A man in the river, according to this uh, upstream and downstream a statement, see, a man in the river covers a distance 40 km upstream and 30 km downstream in 10 hours. So, that is the statement given 40 km upstream and 30 km downstream together it he has covered in 10 hours. So, what happens now? The speed of the upstream we decided. The speed of the car is sorry speed of the uh, boat is x and speed of the water is y upstream speed is x minus y and downstream speed is x plus y then according to the statement what happens here this is 40 by x minus y this is the time taken according yeah, above statement if you see distance by speed is time so this is 40 by x minus y 40 kilometer in upstream so that is that journey of 40 kilometer upstream time it is so for distance by speed this is 40 kilometer distance and x minus y is the speed upstream speed okay plus 30 by x plus y downstream journey completely time taken is equal to 30 by x plus y why distance by speed why we are writing x plus y because we have uh, come across downstream and upstream speeds downstream speed is x plus y upstream speed is x minus y okay well i hope you understand the very last a fractions becomes 4 or 5 if one is added to both numerator and denominator so he gave us a unknown thing it is a fraction so when a fraction is in front of us and he told that uh, it will become 4 by 5 if one is added to both numerator and denominator so let the fraction be x by y when we got a fraction x over 5, y, then if we are adding 1 to the numerator and 1 to the denominator, so according to this, this fraction is going to be given 4 by 5. This is the mathematical statement we call from here. Mathematical statement and algebraic form. So I hope this is very enjoyable. If you are little weak in changing mathematical statements to algebraic form, please watch this video once again. And Try to make the equations from the problems. Let us move to solve the problems. Thank you.